<laughs> What's up, guys? Cliff and Joel here. I've returned. Uh, he has returned. We gave Chandra took a few days off because uh, it's her birthday. We begged her not to. She said, "Tough beans. I'm doing it." And uh, and I'm filling in. So whatever happens, happens. I mean. If if something happens you don't like, write in the comments that it's her fault. You just you just go away. We don't know what we're gonna talk about it. Talk about today. Actually, we do know what we're gonna talk about today. So you're never gonna hear us mention this again. Once it's done, it's done. Amber Turd and Johnny Depp. <laughs> uh, the verdict's in. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I heard this. I heard that he won the court of public opinion, whether he lost or not. Mm -hmm. Like, the verdict was almost inconsequential to the fact that people thought he's innocent, period. That's because the facts came out. <laughs> like That's true. That's true. Because um, he was... Remember um, in, like, 2016, 17, when all this came out, everyone was like, oh, no, I guess Johnny Depp is abusive. I thought that. Oh, uh, yeah. He, like everyone was against him, but then the facts came out. and Yeah, so I never want to talk about this again after talking about it with you. Yep. This is it. Because okay. she was found guilty of defamation. It was found out that she, he was the victim of, uh, of abuse. The dude. Go figure. Go figure that dudes can be abused. Okay, so I have a couple of stories where I have dated women that were... More Amber Heardish, I uh -huh. would say. Not that abusive, but like mentally they would do stuff. And I know that they said things mm. that I did that I never, ever did. That they later came back and said, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Gotcha. But it was like really damaging things that were so far from the truth. And so this whole verdict, I've been told multiple times by people with different women with different colored hair in their 20s that believe all women. I've been told that. Yeah, dude. Man. I don't think it's fair that certain crimes are guilty until proven innocent. It's supposed to be innocent yeah. until proven guilty. And in his case, dude, he lost work before any proof came out. Yeah. Period. End of story. And uh, I, I do think this is, in my opinion, the fact that the, the facts were laid bare and she's pretty but stinking crazy. Yeah. Um, I think that that's a good thing because... I'm sick of the always believe, like you said, always believe the female. It's like, no, this is a huge win. When it comes to domestic this is a, cases, this is a win for humans. This is a white male that pretty much left and right, except the super crazies believe is a good verdict. Because in our society, yeah. white men, it's the ultimate evil. You are the ultimate evil if you're a white male. Yeah, and here's the deal. He's got his issues. I mean, he's a he's a recovering, well, he was, drag, he's he, recovering drug addict, alcoholic kind of guy like he, clearly during that process uh yeah. he would retreat into drugs and alcohol or whatever whenever mm -hmm. the chaos happened yeah. so that probably made him emotionally distant and, and all this kind of stuff and he's got his own issues and they're clearly super toxic for each other um but that doesn't change the fact that he still do, do, probably doesn't deserve to have all of his credibility and all this stuff completely destroyed by these allegations that ain't gospel that's it that's not gospel <laughs> to me I, the idea that every white male is evil and every woman should always be believed and is virtuous all the time was defeated. And yeah. I'm very happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Mm. Amber Heard pooped a turd on Johnny Depp's pillow. Mm. I was told it was about the size of a baby armadillo. That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact like those things came out. Here's the deal. Cause I was watching this whole thing and I remember hearing Johnny Depp's story and yeah. all of that. And I was like, Oh, it seems like this guy got taken advantage of. Mm. And then her stuff came out, I guess the next week and everyone was like, Oh my gosh, she's been caught in so many lies. And that's, what's crazy is all the 20 year old females Dude. are, we're all like, yeah, Johnny Depp's innocent. Here's the thing. So here's the thing Common that one. that I liked about it was when the when the tapes came out. 
that he was like, let's not do this. Let's handle it privately. Yes. It's going to be bad for both of us. Not go- It's not going to be good for either one of us yeah. to to handle this publicly. Let's handle it privately, you know. And then there was the whole deal, like, he never looked at her once for the entire trial because he told her, promised her, they played the video that he said, you don't like not seeing my eyes. You will never see my eyes again, ever. And so oh, he man. didn't look at her through the entire trial. It's like brutal. But, dude, that's like some next-level toxicity. Like, something in their relationship was terrible for this guy to be like... I mean, it was dude. awful, like soul-crushing toxic for him to be like, you'll never see my eyes again. I have known... I have I have known several women throughout my whole life, and these people were like borderline evil. Wait, does this story need some guilt? Are hold on, hold on. Do it, do it. So I'm at. <laughs> no, I've known I've known several women throughout my life that were so damaged, they were so messed up. That they had, there was no conscience, dude. They just did not care. They would just lie. They would say whatever. And so that's the thing that, in my opinion, the Me Too movement basically says is, are you a man? Well, then screw you. You're always wrong. You're always evil. This This, is Joel's altar call. This this is a win for... This is a win for dudes who are in a bad spot because, like I said, right now we have a culture that it, despises it, masculinity. It tells me what I'm afraid is going to happen is this is be like a precursor to like uh, from now on you've got couples video like starting fights with each other on purpose and like audio recording the whole thing so they can have stuff against each other. Man, if like, you were that g- crazy, this you is going to start. That. I, I'm afraid it'll start a trend of like really crazy relationships and like next world craziness. Like I'm gonna hold this on my partner just in case, you know. Like, geez, Louise. Like I said, I'm so happy that finally I feel like we're finally winning some things because in yeah. the culture war, there's all this other stuff. But like, I don't know how. I don't understand. I guess it's great, but I don't understand how all these like liberal women and i hate to sound sexist saying that but liberal women with super young kids that haven't raised teenagers yet with blue hair how they're all on johnny depp's side because this is a loss for them because they all hate men they all hate men they've said it so many times and (laughs) this is a clear loss for their cause against the hatred against men because they're not after truth dude so my my next thing is yeah my next thing is should uh should johnny depp have gotten a prenup of course did he not <laughs> no wow no prenup to my knowledge they got no prenup Dude. and uh and uh she told him she told everybody she didn't want anything she was labeled a gold digger and all the soup law said she didn't want anything she was going to donate it all to the aclu and all the soup law and yeah pledged it and none of the eight million seven million whatever the money is that he she got from him none of it's been given yet i think other than like a hundred for like three hundred thousand or something small but we need to talk about this. In your opinion, do you think uh, prenups are kind of off limits to Christians? Prenups is basically where it's a set rule of like if we get divorced, you're not going to go it's, crazy. Yeah, right? it's like established. Like if we split up, this is what happens. And some people in Christianity and Christian cultures are like, you're essentially saying not if, but when. If you get a prenup, you're saying when we divorce, this happens. And so they, they kind of preach against getting prenups like like if you get a prenup you're setting yourself up for divorce i think if you marry the right person to find the right person you're not gonna have to worry about a prenup see i i have a tendency to agree with you yeah but i also wonder if prenups aren't a, a means of weeding out the wrong person yeah no that's great do you know what i'm that's saying great. like hey are you say i was a millionaire going into a relationship with this oh, gal dude, yeah. and it's like hey are you cool with if we sign a prenup if she bucks about signing a prenup, I'm sitting there thinking maybe she wasn't the right person to begin with. But dang, then if I go in and make her sign a prenup, then maybe I'm saying I don't trust you. Ooh. Well, see, I, I've now I've listened to I've listened to so many people. I mean, I, I agree with you. Like, there's a level of trust that needs to be there if you're willing to go into a relationship without a prenup. Sure. But a marriage is a big deal. My question is, I most of the married, uh, most excuse me, most of the Christian people that I talk to about prenups, I think their assumption is that the man is walking into a relationship saying, "Hey, 
we need a prenup. And they're like, no, 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 you, you shouldn't get prenups. What if the situation is reversed? What if chick's a millionaire and she's going to marry a dude? And she wants me to sign a prenup. And she wants a prenup. I would feel kind of like she didn't trust me. That's just the And see me, I'd be like, I don't care. As long as when we're married, everything is ours and we share everything equally and it's mutual and all this stuff, that's fine. I don't, because the thing, my thing is I wouldn't be marrying her for money. Yeah. I'd be like, no, I don't, if you want a prenup, that's cool. As long as when we're together, we're one. We make all our decisions together. We're family. That's great. I have no interest in your money. You know, like, I don't care. Luckily, I'm not a millionaire, so... Yeah, man, I'm so <laughs> lucky to be... So lucky to be filming Broke. videos in my house. You know. <laughs> She'll be like, I married you for my money. All right, let's go to McDonald's. Woo! All Here right. I think when these people are coming down on, on prenups hardcore, I really think they're thinking it's always from the guy's angle. Like, the guy just doesn't trust these girls, and so they're making them sign prenups. Like, do it, you think they'd feel the same way... Do you think they'd have the same response of like, no, 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 don't get a prenup if it was a woman okay. who was trying to sign a prenup to protect herself? Uh, I think if there's two people and they have a bunch of money and they do a lot of good for organizations and whatever, then you're protecting those organizations just in case anything crazy happens. So I can see signing it in that way, and I think it's totally fine. I know I didn't totally answer your question. But I think if it's just like, hey, are you going to steal my money? Mm, but if it's like, hey, I have this business and this business, if we get divorced, something crazy happens, these organizations will be screwed, so we got to sign this. Let's put a name on it. If Taylor Swift, if some random no-name dude was going to marry Taylor Swift, do you think all the people that are like, guys shouldn't require prenups, do you think they'd look at Taylor Swift the same way if she was like, I'm making them sign a prenup? She's, uh... Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if they would care. You think they'd be like, oh, that makes perfect sense. It's Taylor Swift. Of course she needs to make him sign a prenup. Yeah, I think so. Versus the other way around, they're like dudes are wanting them to sign prenups and, and they'll be like, no, no, no. You shouldn't have to sign a prenup if you found the right person. Because to me, it's like Taylor Swift has a lot of assets. Like, And so I, that's what I'm saying. I think most of them, I think the people that are anti- Guys signing prenups would look at Taylor Swift in that situation and be like, and she's getting married. Oh, yeah. She's had a track oh, yeah. record of like be kind of in the public mm -hmm. eye relationships going sour and all this stuff yeah. and and they'd be, use all of these excuses and reasonings to be like taylor swift it makes sense for her to get a prenup and do you want to know why because to me behind the motive of that is i hate men men are evil and that's why i believe those people would have that double standard it'd be like uh, Anything to move the ball I'm, forward that men are. So evil. you're thinking the assumption would be that a man who's with Taylor Swift is obviously with her for her money, more so because men are evil yes. or whatever. More so than if a woman wants to marry George Clooney or whatever, it, the assumption wouldn't naturally be, oh, she's just in it for the money. Yes, all men, their ideology, all men are evil. All women should be believed and are virtuous, even when they're doing horrible things. Johnny, man, you should have got a. If you'd have got a prenup, you wouldn't have had that poop in your bed. If you'd have got a prenup, if you'd have got a prenup, you wouldn't have a dirt in your bed. If you'd have got a prenuptial agreement, you wouldn't have this grievance <laughs> of smelling poop in your bed. Because God is on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so this is the last we're going to talk about this thing, man. I'm so, so tired of of I think I'm so tired of this of this tour, of this trial. I'm glad it's over. Johnny Depp won. Hooray. Justice for Johnny. All that hoopla. Yep. I just want the truth out. My next question is, he made these bold claims. Now, everybody's on Johnny Depp's side. He made these bold claims that I don't care. I think I think the quote if I'm getting it right was I don't care if Disney pays me three hundred million dollars and three hundred alpacas or something like that. I'll never work with them again because they ditched them when the allegations came out. Uh, uh, you think he's working with them again? Yeah, I think they're going to issue a massive apology, and it's going to be like <laughs> I don't. I just know they're going to. There's there's such a, a hunger for pirates right now because even when I saw the trial, I went and watched all the pirates movies again. You did? Yeah. Oh wow. I did. I just I missed Johnny. I Depp. did not I expect that from oh, I you. I did. Wow. It. And which ones, uh, are there any good ones besides the first 
How many are no, good? One. The first one is good. <laughs> Every, everything else. But is... you watched them all anyways. I did. Because Johnny Depp's <laughs> awesome. You were going to watch the trial. You're like, you know what? I ain't watching this piece no, of crap. No. I'll go it. watch this crap. <laughs> they, they progress. Every, each one progressively gets worse and worse. Oh, dude. Yeah. Honestly, the reason I say we're never not talking about this again is because I really just feel like it was used to cover all of the other stuff in the world that's important that we could be talking about. Instead, everybody's 100% just zombied in on this dang trial. So I'm, I'm glad it's done. If justice was served, and just, hey, I'm glad justice was served. The truth came out. Please, please make a good Pirates again, please. It's been 20 years. That's the Johnny Depp trial and the verdict. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Talk About It. Me and Joel, let us know what you think about this stuff. If you're glad that people are going to stop talking about this, give us an amen in the comments. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. And as always, continue to support quality independent content and keep being awesome because that's how God made you. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs>